<laughs> what are you? Stop being, nigga. I'll do this shit myself. Fine, I'll do it myself. Uh, this is T-Boo here, and this is a deck profile of Tsukuyomi. The cameraman is a kind of an asshole. Anyway. Kinda? Oh, 100%. Entirely an asshole. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Starter, got out Ichibi Yoshi skill at the beginning of the riot phase. So it's your top five cards in your deck for one unit called Goddess of the Crescent Moon Tsukuyomi. Put it over the Vanguard Circle. Any cards for any other cards, go to any other cards, not put on the Vanguard Circle, obviously. Go to bottom deck in any order. It helps you stack the deck so you can cheat. It's pretty simple. OTTs, later on cheating. Fair cheating. The Vanguard. It's one. not fair. Four, Goddess of the Full Moon Tsukuyomi. Fair cheating. Obviously for the riot chain. For the stride, her skill's not that bad. You can use it, it's up to you. It's not really necessary. It doesn't hurt to use it. Does kind of it skills uh six more cards in soul, kind of less two. Draw two cards, pick one card from your hand and discard it. Oh, pull one card in your hand and soul, I'm sorry. Uh hand advantage. It's pretty much the OCC does in your game. And she can fix the right chain. Yes, she can. Only got six in soul though, which is the hard part. Uh Supreme Heavenly Battle D Susano. Yes. Except for uh, op op other options to stride. Stride, stride skills, uh, when you try to count us one top two cards of your deck, add one to add, other one on the bottom of the deck in order. Pretty much gives you a free card. Stride, you get, you get back the card you strode with. No, he's not bad. He works, he works very well because he's Yomi because if you don't rush Yomi, you ride him, you get more cards. If you do rush Yomi, you can ride him later and get more cards anyway. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> you, your two skills funny. You have four more cards in your hand when he attacks, he gets 5k and a crit. Actually, when, if you have four more cards in your hand during the attack, you get 5k in the crit. So, you get two cards in hand, swing, they go one to pass, you hit nothing, he gets 5k immediately because you go from two to four cards in hand and a crit, take two damage. Oh. So there is. Oh. So if they go, so if they go 21, if they drop 21 and they go one to pass, you just go... Sure. Sure, I pass. By default. Play four gods of the half moon, Tsukuyomi. Uh, your specific skills, the, one of the most important skills of are effect at least, is uh, when a student is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you have Goddess of the Crescent Musuki Yomi and Goddess of the Crescent Musuki and the Soul, Soul Charge 2. The sole purpose of the skill is to one, get the Soul, haha, <laughs> jokes, and two, because every part of the Sukumi Ride Chain, outside of the Grade 3, is top 5 for the next part of the Ride Chain. So it's most probably the most consistent Ride Chain in all of Vanguard history. Easily. When it's placed on Rear Guard, Look at the top five and Three, Divine Akura Kazuchi. Oh, really? yeah. uh, it's Amber Clone, kind of must oh, one, maybe boost a draw a card. And Simple. Like Hand advantage, you can your stack faster. Oh, Woo! That means they it. Four, everybody's favorite asshole. Fuck that guy. Silent Tom, Fuck when he swings. Him. Want to get going with great zeros. Fuck him. Woo! He's so good. Fuck him. He's so good. Bing a bang. Fuck him. Great ones, run four, Goddess of the Crescent Musuki okay. Yomi, obviously, for the Riot Chain. Uh, it's pretty simple. Three, Divine Sword, I'm in a Murakumo. Stride Enabler. Best reason. Uh, best reason, main reason, just to get to Stride without actually having to work so hard to get there. You don't want to pitch all your grade three, so there's more options. Three, Imperial Shrine Guards, Tsunagi. Tsunagi. Yes, Tsunagi. Uh, for Tom. That is it. It's always there for us for Tom. 16. Fuck, I gotta drop. Nine, zero, for the. Ah, fuck it. Two fives, motherfucker. Fuck it, hit me. Time. And then, Arbitrator Emino Sagiri. Even though most people are like, run your regular perfect guards because dimension of police. Fuck them. We eat enough of theirs, they can eat a dick. We got enough half of that asshole in your fucking way. Agreed. Trigger lineup. Probably the most important part of this whole thing. Best trigger lineup ever. 14 crit. You're gonna die. <laughs> Painfully. You're gonna die and it's gonna hurt. And two heals. One of the main reasons I why particularly that I like the heals. Because if your stack is ass, you can shuffle. And late game, when you already know where all your triggers are, you can shuffle your deck and not give a fuck. I'm sorry, I couldn't get that SP. Damn. He couldn't work on that shit yet. He couldn't work on that shit She's yet. She's pissed as fuck though. The ironic part is the person that owns this deck is our friend Kevin. Uh, we have the same build, but his is shinier, so we use his. <laughs> <laughs> is it petty? Of course it is, but fuck that noise. If you're not playing shiny cards, you're a bad player. We have the stride that made the entire deck Woo! worth it. Moon, like deity of, Moon deity who governs the night, Tsukuyomi. Japanese name is better. First school, what was her, what was her uh, Japanese name? Uh, Moon, I think Moon, uh, Moon Crescent Deity of the, I think Moon Deity of the Crescent Moon. It's fucking hype though. Anyway, her skill is, flip a copy of herself face up, put one card with Tsukuyomi from your hand into the soul. Top five cards at two to hand for the rest of the deck in, for the rest of the bottom deck in any order. As you can tell, the deck slowly stacks everything in the bottom of the deck so you can kind of draw into it. 
and then beat your opponent up for knowing where all your cards are. Now you can just go swing. Oh, two to pass. Well, I'm at my stack. I took out two crits. Crit, crit. Game. You had a fun game though. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I'm one of the top five rudest decks to beat somebody up with. Okay, Two sword segment. deity of the thunder break, Takami Kazuchi. Kuchi. Skill count on my stupid copy myself face up. Top four at two to hand. Versus the bottom here. deck. It's a pattern here. You should get this by it's now. It's a pattern. I don't like this pattern. What's and in the bottom of the deck? Two of Horseman, aka Kieran. <laughs> if he hits top two cards at one hand, rest of the bottom, other card, bottom deck in order. Because if you tap it, put none, you can put in, you can put something. Do you need it now? Do you use the link jokers? On his skill, late game pressure. He's not, you don't use him in this deck, you don't use him early game, because you have to kill him at first. But once you get to that late game, he's pretty good. You hit, you get a free card. If you don't, you, you press your opponent with get triple drive. Doesn't hurt. And that's it. She's pretty as fuck. We were signing out. Motherfucking moons, bitch. Oh, you better get the rest of that shit. Oh, god damn it. Why you gotta make me do stuff? If you gonna do it, you gonna do it fucking right. Where's the bird? <laughs> get the goddamn bird. Yes, it's, yes, we had to do that. And so we ended this video, folks. SP. SP. That's too. Here with Mitch, guys. We're signing out. That's rude.